Mm. Mm. <laughs> Jacobatis, welcome. Are some of you already asking yourselves, why is Nigel opening this video by holding this in front of their face, saying personal and private? Many of you know that I often refer to equity as an entertainment entrepreneur and somewhat of a legend in my own lunchtime, referring to equity. Equity, the trade union for professional actors, variety entertainers and other creatives across the United Kingdom. And also the fact that this week the headline news has concerned a person who made an outrageous, totally unacceptable racial slur against Rishi Sunak, featured in the Channel 4 documentary <laughs> Nigel Farage and the Reform Party. And in that mention, that person has now been outed, apparently, as an actor and also a member of equity. Now, may I make it clear? I'm not sure if they are a member of equity or not. And unless equity was to confirm that, no one else may be really sure. But I doubt whether equity will confirm it. Or will they? Because, you see, over the years, the rules of equity have changed. Some time ago now, probably back in the 80s, the rules made it absolutely clear that what members did in their private and personal capacity was nothing to do with equity. Because equity didn't want to be seen to be censoring the arts, entertainment, culture, scripts for plays. No, that was up to you, the public, to decide, and the law. So if the public decided they were offended by something, then the public dealt with it. If the law decided it was a breach of the law, then the law decided. But... That rule vanished from equity a decade or so ago. And now, well, equity's been having a pop at their members for saying things and doing things which equity, those currently running equity, have said, well, we don't like that. We don't want them to be a member of equity because, well, we disapprove of that opinion. We disapprove of what they've just expressed. Once equity has got themselves into that ballpark, well, no wonder social media is now tippy-tappy saying, what are you going to do about this person who is alleged to be an equity member? So is equity going to do something or are they going to stay silent? Especially, of course, as it's a pop against a Tory. <laughs> I mean, are they biased? Because that's what you're asking why, so I don't know. And should it not have been better that equity had stuck to that commitment of many years ago that what members did in their personal and private capacity, even if they said they were an actor, if it was personal and private and they were attending a political party meeting, should it have concerned equity? So... May I leave that thought with you? Is it better that a trade union should say, well, what members do in their personal and private capacity? Well, it's up to the public to decide. It's up to the law to decide. And indeed, should all other trade unions decide what members can and can't say, can or can't do, when not at work? And if so, who decides? Please let me know what you think. Thank you.